Hey, what's up everybody? Got another review or overview for you. Uh, watch here this time. And one that's been slightly modified. This one here is the Islander watch. And it is done in the turtle style uh, based on the Seiko model. And the bracelet has been modified. So, what I wanted to show you is just some close-ups of the watch and give you a few details of it as well as talk about the change in the bracelet that I did here. So, first off, the original bracelet this comes with is a nylon type. I'll give you a close look at that. Let me zoom out a little bit and see if that helps. So pretty sturdy nylon bracelet. And these are pretty solid right here. Steel or aluminum, can't really tell. Feels a little light, so maybe you're aluminum, but there you go. And the slot there. So what I did is I got the Volmer carbon fiber bracelet and I'll show you the packaging here. Volmer made in Germany. There's the reference number. The information on it in German. Uh, the front side of the package. Volmer carbon. And as you probably could have seen uh, the bracelet itself is a carbon fiber weave bracelet. Let me clasp this together, get a little tighter hold on it. It's very sturdy. There's no, basically no give to it whatsoever. It's based on the curvature for your wrist. Um, it's obviously not shaped to every person's wrist, but they've created this slight bend in it so that it fits around the wrist nicely. And then it comes with this steel link bracelet piece at the end that is adjustable. Very interesting piece. I would say the carbon fiber part of this is excellent. Um, I have a number of other products with carbon fiber, knives, um, other watches, uh, maybe some other materials too. And this is definitely a very quality feeling piece, both these pieces here. However, this part does feel a little on the less quality side. Um, to give you an idea on how this works, these are uh, slots in here that two pins are going through. So there's basically, it's a tube with two tubes inside it that a pin on here and a pin here then connect to these links on the outside, which are kind of just, oh, this is a better picture of it. So there's the tube there and the outside link. But now the pins aren't pressure pins and they're not screws, they're spring pins. So each end of the pin has a little spring inside and you can take a tool or even a really very small paper clip and push in and then pop out to take the links in or out. Regular clasp here, um, nothing special. Clip it, unclip it. I guess my thought is that this piece feels so quality and nice. This just feels a little on the light end. And I did have some issues with this um, that were fully taken care of by uh, Long Island Watch Company. When I did get this, I sized it. I had to take off, I believe, two links on here. Um, and then when I went to put it back on, actually one of the links uh, from this side the pins, for whatever reason, I guess, were weak and either sheared off or broke or something. And uh, basically, I lost three pins and one of these uh, um, links, outside links, there. Um, so I sent an email into Long Island Watch, and they sent me replacement pins. And I did have the other two leftover um, outside pieces that I could use, which I only needed one of um, for it to fit. 
So I'll show it on my wrist here just so you guys can see. I think it is a very handsome looking watch. Automatic, uh, Seiko Movement, NH36 I believe. Day and date. Second hand is in black there. Minute hand in orange. And then hour hand in black with uh, Luminova inside it. Sorry for the glare here. Again, trying to work with the light box, but it's tough. This is a AR coated uh, sapphire crystal. I believe it's DLC coating across both the case and bezel. Screw out crown. But I just wanted something, uh, I loved the style of the watch itself. I just wasn't a big fan of the nylon for the bracelet. So that's why I ordered the carbon fiber bracelet, which I think does look excellent on it. Goes really well. And I kind of like a watch I can just throw on and good to go. Um, versus one that I have to tighten and strap through. Obviously I have plenty of either, but I just uh, kind of like this one being on a clasp bracelet. So give me an idea of some of the things you'd have to do if you are going to go this way, just to give you a heads up. The pins that go across uh, this area are actually not the right size to fit through the Volmer bracelet. I'm going to show you those real quickly. So these are the pins that went across here. And they are a beefy set. Um, these might be the thickest you can get, I believe. Um, obviously a hefty, strong spring pin. However, uh, this bracelet, um, the holes uh, are too small for these to fit through. So you actually have to order um, separately the smallest pins to go across as far as diameter goes. So I did order those. I realized it afterwards, so I had to get those separately. Those pins still go in and they still fit here and you can see, let it uh, focus. It is connected, it just, just know that you have a much thinner pin in here for this bracelet than what came standard with the watch itself for the nylon bracelet. Um, additionally, I'll show you what occurred with those broken pins. So here are the pins that go on the links and you can see on the bottom here, those little tiny sticking out pins but on the top, you can see they're all gone. So those are the ones that broke off. I left one good one in there so you can see. Little pin at the bottom, little pin at the top. Um, so these three, the tops for whatever reason all broke off and this is just one extra link I have left with the tube and then the cover uh, link on the top. And then this is what Long Island Watch sent to me as replacements. They actually sent me, I believe, eight of these. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and I put two in. So yeah, they sent me eight. Um, these aren't the exact type that obviously came with the Volmer bracelet. I think actually the ones that Long Island Watch sent me are much better. Um, you can see how much more they stick out and they're kind of double springed at the top and middle section. So you do need a lot more work to get them in to fit, but they work just fine and they're probably better than all the other ones are in here too. So hopefully, or not hopefully, but if any of these other break, at least I have these extra ones to use as well. So it is something to be aware of. Again, that's not a Long Island watch thing. That's a Volmer bracelet piece. And kind of getting back to what I was saying is the carbon fiber piece is excellent. I think it's just this link area and clasp um, is on the, I don't like to use the word, but cheaper side. I'll give you a view of the back of the watch here so you can see it. So Islander, 200 meter Sapphire Island Watch Company, and obviously that's a picture of Long Island with hopefully where the symbol is where I guess the shop is or the e-commerce shop. Give you some shots of the side. I really love the thickness of the case on this watch. I like the cushion style to it. Didn't really have anything of this style in my collection currently. And I just like the idea that this kind of has all the upgrades that you would want from the Seiko Turtle 
um, that you would normally have to do additional, but it all comes in one package and the pricing on it I think is pretty well suited to what you get with a Seiko Movement, Seiko style turtle, DLC coated, pretty smooth running bezel, actually almost a little on the too smooth side for me, I like to have a little bit more give, but uh, sets right, really nice black face to the watch, and it does have really good luminescence too. Um, let me take a flashlight real quick and see if you guys can see how well that lights up. All right. I'll charge it up here and then I'll turn the lights off. And you guys can see how it looks. So pretty good there, obviously, with all the hour markers, uh, the outside bezel. And again, uh, this isn't a dark room at all. It's daytime and there's daylight coming in the windows, but you can get an idea of how well that looks there. Kind of hard to lay it down when it's closed. Obviously easier that way. Give you some other close-up shots without the lights on. Maybe that gives you a better shot of everything. But I just enjoyed this kind of setup with it with on a bracelet, the carbon fiber going with the full black look. Let me hit the lights back on real quick. And let me just do a couple comparisons for you. So the Islander uh, here is a Vostok Europe Arctica. And I'll open this bracelet up all the way. So another kind of black PVD type watch. And you know what, we'll do this as well. This is my Drivril GV2. I'll open this one up. This one, a little bit different as far as bracelet goes, obviously, but we'll see how we can do it with it. Put that over. Got to cut a little bit. So, there we go, get those out of here, and last thing I thought I'd do just because it's the carbon fiber, uh, is show a few other carbon fiber items next to it as well with the, for the bracelet comparison. So I did bring out a couple knives. This is my Browse Blades Silent Soldier. Give you a look on carbon fiber on this one. And I have a video on this knife somewhere on my channel. Uh, another brass blades division. Totally different carbon fiber pattern. And lastly, Grant and Gavin Hawk, Deadlock. Kind of a smoother looking, a little bit shinier looking carbon fiber finish on this one. And give you one more close up on this. Give you 
you looked at the dome crystal. And I'll try to cut this off before we get to 15 minutes. It's been a while since I made a video, so sorry if I rambled. Or if I said anything inaccurate on here too, just trying to catch up and get a few of these things out. All right, and I'll put a link to the website and the info on the watch uh, in the description below as always. So thank you guys, put it back on the wrist here. I'm gonna wear this uh, going forward, see how it goes, um, but again, since uh, the first time I wore it, um, and obviously had the pins break, uh, I haven't really taken it out since then, but I'll take it out now and it feels pretty comfortable. And we'll go from there. All right, catch you guys later. Bye.